yes, hello. Sorry, I was reading my favorite novel. I'm here today to talk to you about abstract expressionism. Abstract expressionism was an American post-World War II art movement. It was first, specifically, an American movement to achieve worldwide influence and put New York City at the center of the Western art world, a role formerly by Paris. Although the term abstract expressionism was first applied to American art in 1946 by art critic Robert Coates, it has first been used in Germany in 1919 in the magazine Der Strauss regarding German expressionism. The movement's name is derived from the combination of the emotional intensity and self-denial <laughs> of the German expressionists with the anti-figurative aesthetic of the European abstract schools, such as Futurism, the Bauhaus, and Synthetic Cubism. Additionally, it has an image of being rebellious, anarchic, highly idiosyncratic, and some feel nihilistic. William de Kooning was born on April 24, 1904, and died March 19, 1997. He was a Dutch-American abstract expressionist artist who was born in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. In the post-World War II era, de Kooning painted in a style that came to be referred as abstract expressionism or abstract action painting, and was part of a group of artists that became known as the New York School. Other painters in this group included Jackson Pollock. De Kooning's parents, Leonard de Kooning and Cornelia Noble, were divorced when he was about five years old, and he was raised by his mother and stepfather. His early artistic training included eight years at the Rotterdam Academy of Fine Arts and Techniques. In the 1920s, he worked as an assistant to the art director of a Rotterdam department store. In 1938, Probably under the influence of Archile Gorky, de Kooning embarked on a series of male figures, including two standing men, man, and seated figure, classic male, while simultaneously embarking on a more purist series of lyrically colored abstractions, such as pink landscape and elegy. As his work progressed, the heightened colors and elegant lines of abstractions began to creep in more figurative works. And the coincidence of figures and abstractions continued well into the 1940s. This period includes the representational but somewhat geometricized woman and standing man, along with numerous untitled abstractions whose biomorphic forms increasingly suggest the presence of figures. By about 1945, the two tendencies seemed to fuse perfectly in Pink Angels. In 1938, de Kooning met Elaine Marie Fried, later known as Elaine de Kooning, whom he married in 1943. Oh, my God. She also became a significant artist. During the 1940s and thereafter, he became increasingly identified with the abstract expressionist movement and was recognized as one of its leaders in the mid-1950s. In 1948, de Kooning had his first one-man show, which consisted of his black-and-white enamel compositions at the Charles E. Yan Gallery in New York. He taught at Black Mountain College in North Carolina in 1948 and at the Yale School of Art from 1950 to 1951. The estate of Willem de Kooning is represented by the Pace Gallery. Paul Jackson Pollock was born January 28, 1912 and died August 11, 1956. Known as Jackson Pollock, he was an influential American painter and a major figure in the abstract expressionist movement. During his lifetime, Pollock enjoyed considerable fame and notoriety. He was regarded as a mostly reclusive artist. He had a volatile personality and struggled with alcoholism for most of his life. In 1945, 
he married artist Lee Krasner, who became an important influence on his career and on his legacy. Pollock was born in Cody, Wyoming, in 1912. He was the youngest of five sons. His parents, Stella Mae McClure and Leroy Pollock, grew up in Tingley, Iowa. His father had been born McCoy, but took the surname of his neighbors, who adopted him after his own parents died within a year of one another. Stella and Leroy Pollock were Presbyterian the former Irish, the latter Scot-Irish. Leroy Pollock was a former and later a land surveyor for the government. Jackson grew up in Arizona, Chico, California. Expelled from one high school in 1928, he enrolled in Los Angeles Manual Arts High School, from which he was also expelled. During his early life, he experienced Native American culture while on surveying trips with his father. In 1930, following his brother Charles Pollock, he moved to New York City, where they both studied under Thomas Hart Benton at the Art Students League of New York. Benton's rural American subject matter shapes Pollock's work only fleetingly, but his rhythmic use of paint and his Fierce independence were more lasting influences. From 1935 to 1943, Pollock worked for the WPA Federal Art Project. In an attempt to fight his alcoholism, from 1938 through 1941, Pollock underwent junkie and psychotherapy with Dr. Joseph Henderson and later with Dr. Violet Staub de Laszlo in 1941 to 1942. Henderson made the decision to engage him through his art and had Pollock make drawings, which led to the appearance of many Jungian concepts in his paintings. Recently, it has been hypothesized that Pollock might have had bipolar disorder. Thank you for joining me today on my segment about abstract expressionism. See you next week where I do my segment about mad cow disease. No, no, wait, okay, okay, ready, now go. When Jackson Pollock was nine, his father abandoned his family and didn't return home until Pollock himself had moved out. I can't. You pick me. Alright, whenever you're ready. Oh, sorry, you caught me petting my favorite kitten. I'm here to talk to you. Maybe like 10 minute long bloopers to make like the rest of like five minutes. I say you should just be, and then the cat should just be like on the camera. So, like, oh, you got me. Hello, you got me. The nine went down. That's like me denying I'm gay. I don't know. I don't know. Self-denial. How do you do self-denial? Well, hold on, let me...